What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod your PlayStation Vita in 2023 the easy way. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to my settings so you guys can check that this is a brand new PlayStation Vita. Um, so we're 3.74 and uh, we're gonna start we're going to navigate to the browser and I'm going to enter PS Vita Henlo because that is the name of this hack and we're going to navigate to the guide that is gonna direct us to the website that we need to enter in order to proceed with the browser hack And here we have the website we need to navigate on our PS Vita, jailbreak.psp2.dev. We're going to open up a new tab and we're going to enter that URL. Once it loads, you're going to press unlock my Vita. And after, you're going to press on the unlock button. If you encounter this issue about JavaScript, what we need to do is go to our settings and we're going to disable the option to load JavaScript. Once disabled, we're going to close the browser and we're going to reopen it again. It's possible that the website will not load again, so in this case, we are going to navigate back to the settings and we're going to enable JavaScript and we're going to reload the page. Then we're going to see this menu pop up and we're going to install Henkaku. You're going to wait until it's done with the process. We're going to exit and we're going to open our settings again. Here you should see Henkaku settings. We're gonna open that and enable unsafe homebrew. And we're going to click on spoofed version and you're going to enter 3.74. We're going to navigate back to the browser and you're going to install Vita Deploy. And you just gotta let the process do its thing. Once it's done, you're gonna press exit and you're going to open the Vita Deploy app you just installed. Here we're going to downgrade to 3.65 software version. So you're going to click on install a different OS and you gotta let it do its thing. Once the 3.65 software is downloaded, it's going to ask you if you want to confirm the downgrade. You're going to press X to continue. And once again, you're going to have to press X again to continue with the downgrade. You're going to wait for your PS Vita to finish downgrading and then it's going to restart the system automatically. After our PS Vita has restarted, we're going to go to settings and scroll down to system, system information. And you can see that our software is now 3.65. Then we're going to exit and we're going to open Vita Deploy. We're going to click on App Downloader and we're going to download ITLS Installer and also Enso Installer. You're going to scroll up and click on Download Selected Apps. We're going to wait for the downloads to finish and we're going to close Vita Deploy once this is done. Then we're going to open ITLS Enso. Then we're going to click on install the full ITLS package. And we're going to wait for this to finish and restart our console. After the PS Vita has restarted, we're going to open Vita Deploy. And we're going to be installing a couple other apps. We're going to select Vita Shell, Vita DB Downloader. YAMT Installer, PKGJ, Custom Themes Manager, and PSV Ident. We're going to scroll up and we're going to click on Download Selected Apps.
Once everything is done installing, we're going to close beta deploy and you should see our new apps in the live area. Now for the last part of the video, we're going to be using Jamf installer to increase our PlayStation Vita storage by using a micro SD card. You can buy this from Amazon and I would recommend the SanDisk micro SD card. That's the one that I've used in the past and it has never failed me. You're going to insert the memory card as if it was a cartridge game. And then we're going to open the Jamf installer. We're going to install the light version and the PSV is going to restart. We're going to open the settings and we're going to scroll down to system, auto start settings, and we're going to turn off the download update file for system software. The reason for this is because we don't want our PS Vita to update automatically. We're going to go back and we're going to find devices, storage devices, and here is where we're going to use Yamt installer. But first, we're going to open Vita Deploy and we're going to format our memory card. So you're going to scroll down to miscellaneous and then format storage device. And here we're going to select formats target storage. Putting our micro SD card, we just gotta make sure that the file system is text fat. We're going to close Vita Deploy and we're going to open our settings and we're going to check the option to use Jammed. Then we're going to hold the power button and we're going to restart our system. We're going to open Vita Shell. You're going to navigate to UXO. And you're going to copy every single folder in here. We're going to go back. You're going to navigate to UMA0. And here, you're going to paste all the folders that you copy from UXO. We're going to close Vita Show and we're going to go to settings. Then you're going to click on devices, storage devices, and we're going to switch UXO to SD2 Vita and UMA0 to default. And then you're going to press and hold the power button and we're going to restart our PlayStation Vita. Then we're gonna go back to our settings. You're going to scroll down until you find system. System information. And as you can see, our storage capacity is now 59 gigabytes. This is how you mod your PlayStation Vita and also install SD2 Vita to work with a micro SD card. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe. See you guys next time.